Zhanghua County Commissioner Wei Minggu is leading a campaign to restore consumer confidence in locally raised chicken eggs as fallout from the recent controversy over contamination continues to affect farmers and sellers. Demand for eggs remained low, with many restaurateurs having stopped serving eggs altogether over health concerns. This free egg handout proved popular with locals, but domestic demand for the food has been hit hard by the recent controversy over eggs containing dioxin. Zhanghua County Commissioner Wei Minggu led the event, frying up eggs and eating them confidently as a way of publicly lending his support to egg farmers. I've eaten eight eggs in one sitting before. If the final results of the investigation into the three egg farms involved show no traces of dioxin, we hope that the central government will help cover the losses that these farms have incurred. The scandal has pushed down the price of eggs significantly, despite efforts by the county commissioner and egg farmers to assuage public fears over contamination. Demand for eggs has dropped by 30 percent over the past few days. The price at the farm gate at one point dropped by three NT dollars in one day, from 29 to 26 NT dollars, which amounted to a drop of 120 NT dollars per crate. If there were 100,000 crates in the whole country, that would have meant a net loss of 12 million NT dollars across the national egg industry. Moves by the Industrial Union of Egg Farmers to lower the farm gate and wholesale prices of eggs haven't yet managed to relieve consumer skepticism. Theoretically, eating an average of three to five eggs per day is within the accepted range. Doctors have played down public fears while pointing out that fiber-rich diets high in fruits and vegetables can help the body detox and ward off risks stemming from ingested toxins.